I've got ERP Next installed on a local server here, and on my point of sale front end, I wanted to make some edits um, to make it uh, look a little more like I wanted. So I'm going to walk you through what changes I had to make. Um, I've got a lot of extra white space on the left and right that I could do without. And my list of products stops at, at 24, and I want to be able to show all of my products instead of just the first 24. So I'll show you how to do um, both of those things. So first thing, we can just go into the style sheets. If you right click anywhere, you can in Chrome, it's called inspect. And it pulls up um, the HTML and the style sheets for each item. So if I click on this point of sale item, I can see where it says width and padding bottom. So those are the things that we can adjust really easily. I can just hit my down arrow on my keyboard to change how those fit. And I have this extra space here now, I can also adjust that. Um, so that's easy enough to, to tap up and down and see how it looks. Um, but my bigger problem is all this extra white space. And what is holding all that back is a div class called my container page body. So I can click on that and see where uh, my maximum width is right here. My min width is 1200, so on a 1200 pixel screen or higher, it'll only be 1170 pixels wide. So I can go into the uh, CSS sheet there and change this to 1900 pixels. So my, my screen right now is 1900 pixels wide and I want to use all of that. So I can do that. So now it's as wide as it can be and I can go back to inspecting a single one of these, point of sale item, and keep adjusting my width here until I have the whole screen filled up the way I like. All right, so that's mucking with the, the style sheet. Uh, and of course, that's just inside of Chrome. So if I actually want to uh, save those edits, um, so that's kind of, I can, I can prototype and see how it looks. But once I want to actually save that, I have to connect to my server and actually edit the style sheets on the server. Um, so I'm going to SSH into my ERP Next server. Okay, in this first file, this style sheet that we want to change, um, there's two style sheets that we're going to go into. The first one is located in this Frappe bench. ERP Next is built on the Frappe framework. Uh, and in there, we go into Sites and Assets and CSS. All right, so we have desk min CSS and ERP next CSS. Uh, so I'm going to look again where I had to change inspect that container right here, container page body. That minimum width was desk min CSS line 2483. So that's telling me where I need to go. So in my terminal here, I can open desk min CSS, and in Vim, I can set my line numbers, and I can just jump to line 2483, and here are my media containers. So my min width, I can change that to 1900. And change this width to 1900 and right quit enter. So that changes that style sheet for my maximum width. And then the other one was in erpnext.css, I believe. Yeah, erpnext.css. Uh, and it's right here, POS item. I have my width and my padding bottom. So what did I decide on? I decided POS item. My width would be 16, and my padding bottom would be 20. So I just make those changes in the style sheet, right, quit, enter, uh, and those, um, now if I reload this page, so I can kind of cancel out of um, 
the changes I made in the Chrome inspector. Point of sale, start. I think I have to refresh it. Okay, so I refreshed it to kind of clear my cache. And now you can see it takes up the entire width um, and it has my layout taking up a lot more space. So I like this a lot better. Uh, all right. The last thing I need to show you is uh, where the file that generates this list of items is at so we can change the number of items that are displayed uh, on this uh, page. So right now the default is just 24 items, but I have more than that and I, and I want to be able to just keep scrolling down. So I go back to my terminal, and this file is kind of uh, takes a little bit of digging, but it is in my Frappe Bench install. I go into apps slash erp next slash erp next slash accounts slash doc type slash sales invoice, and in this folder uh, we have our pos.python file. So, I can, so we go into that point of sale.python file, and the very last line says limit 24, and I can replace that with limit 99 and save that file. Uh, and after that, uh, I actually have to just have to reboot the server. And uh, once the server boots back up, we'll see that this whole list. Uh, will contain all of my products instead of just the first 24. Uh, so I hope that helps you find uh, where you can make those edits. You could, of course, use those same style sheets to change uh, the color and the padding and the line styles, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the general look of VRP Next. Uh, I just wanted to change how many items are displayed on my front screen. So let's see if this is ready now. All right, so when you refresh it, it'll have this icon. You can just click on that to switch back to this view. And, aha, now I can scroll all the way down. I have my wood and my RGB lights that weren't there before. Uh, so there you have a few style sheets you can edit to change the look of your ERP Next point of sale.